Hey guys, it's Everything Tech and today we are going to uh, rebuild this old machine because this machine, well the machine does still work properly but the case is uh, horrible and all the DVD, uh, CD writers, whatever is in there is not working anymore and the case will not uh, even close down properly anymore the floppy drive <laughs> it's that's the only thing that is still working and the machine of course itself is working and it's currently uh, supporting windows millennium windows millennium yes so what what is this going to be exactly this is going to be a and we don't have many of those videos just yet but this is a put windows millennium on a ssd Yes, we saw one video of that, I think, recently, in which uh, the guy even um, referred to Druaga um, installing Windows 98 uh, on an SSD, or actually, I think it was on a, on a sort of compact flash card, I don't know anymore, but, okay, what do I have? Well, since this is Windows ME, it does not need to have much space so you don't need a very big uh, ssd for that but unfortunately this computer does not have any sata connectors oh my here we go so i went to the internet and i bought myself the cheapest of the cheapest of the cheapest of the cheapest I bought this Corsair Force LS 60 GB SSD and this has this a brand name what is this Logilink adapter SATA to IDE but it's, it's uh, bi-directional so I guess it works both ways and this whole schmuck only cost like the, the, <laughs> the SSD cost only 14 euros 95 in the adapter only 12 euros 95 some VAT over it and the total price was like uh, 31 euros and a few cents so it's not a, a, a big uh, you know a big money spender on this one and I already have a case this is the new case it's gonna be this case oh okay. it already has a uh, working um, DVD drive I tested it it works uh, floppy drive is not present in this case and the floppy drive in that case will definitely not go into that case but I still have another case over here which has a floppy drive and the downside is I don't know if this works if this floppy drive will work and what makes it even more worse the thing is you know gray so but furthermore this case uh, is very uh, oh it's very fairly okay so i have to oh, oh. <coughs> it's a pretty, pretty modern case so i will remove that uh, psu and um well these drive slats are well I guess handy I guess suppose so um, yes so I will um, uninstall all the hardware in that machine except for these stupid stupid drives <laughs> stupid drives you know that ain't working at the first place so I'll get this stuff away I like that and um, I also have the drivers on this USB key which just works on Windows Millennium I was surprised that it was working so um, and also the fact I want to have this on an SSD is because SSDs these days are more reliable they you know even if if, if I can write like I don't know maybe 40 terabytes on this SSD that is far more than, than Windows Millennium ever will use or take or, you know, need. But this hard drive in this system here is just 13 gigabyte. It's a small one. 
13 and a half gigabyte. Who knows how old it is? It's already old. That I do know. So I will uh, go set this up uh, and then uh, you can join me in a second when I go uninstall all that stuff and I put the camera on a tripod so you can watch me goof around with this stuff and uh, probably cut myself like last time on my finger here is the last cut I have I had and now I show you a picture of how it was click and now back again plop you see so so easily you can hurt yourself with computers yeah, those things are dangerous, so be aware. Always keep a machine gun and a baseball bat and a fire extinguisher, everything by your hand, nuclear warheads, whatever it takes. So, anyway, um, I will set this stuff up and uh, see you. See you in a minute. No, see you in a second. Well, this is just great. I just broke my tripod. Crap. I'm going to film this. Ah. Crap, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Well, let's uh, put it back into its case and then how to figure out how to film this, how I can hold this phone ready, steady. I will have to figure that out. Well, I sort of figured out an idea since the camera of this phone is like on the like on the front end of the of the phone I will just lay my phone flat here on the desk and I will just work on the ground this time since I have no other alternative not that I'm aware of so but uh, first yeah let's take off these cables so cables cables cable so you probably want to know what kind of hardware is exactly in this PC in this computer I will tell you this is a processor <laughs> right 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 no it's a Pentium 2 uh, 450 megahertz megahertz yes so uh, these gray things are ID cables, oh, you probably knew. Okay. The video card is a Millennium G200 AGP, I don't know, video card with how many memory. Enough uh, for this PC. Uh, this is a standard Realtek uh, network adapter. And as last, we have a Sound Blaster AWE 64. Do I say that correctly? AWE? Because in English, uh, the Wii is spelled like W, so I, I don't know how to say this. Do you call this thing an uh, A-W-E? Uh, or is it just an uh, R? Uh, like R. Uh, shock and R. Uh, shock and R. Uh. Okay, this is Sound Blast R. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, screwdriver. Screwdriver. We have it here. Yeah, I like this screwdriver. Do I need to even lay this thing on the ground? Yeah, I do, because... Working with one hand, it's not pretty. So here we go. Now we'll place it exactly on the oh, ah, the other way around. Oh, that means that the image will now be upside down. But it's okay. I can I can flip it in the editor. And I take the P ah, the PC now, and I can check it if it's nicely. Oh, not bad. Take this chair away. So I have enough space. Let's see. Do I have enough light? I guess so. What has to do? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Okay. Well. Let's do this. Uh, Okay, let's discharge myself. You can do that by touching the radiator, the unparted, the unpainted part of your radiator. If you touch it for a second, then you are unearthed. So no need for a wristband. Uh, wristbands. Uh, let's see. So this thing can come out. That's the G200. Okay, we put it away. 
And now we take the sound blaster. Oh, 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 good. Yeah, we have it. Nice. More screws. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, uh, this cable is connected to the optical drive. Yes, it is. Who uses this cable? Who uses this today, even anyone? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. So it's uh, not an original. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. It's not the original Sound Blaster. Uh, or uh, 64 gold, but it is the let's see, it's the model number CT4520. And let's see, it says, uh, does it even say it's an R64? Oh, yeah, here, you see that? Yeah, R64. Awesome. So for that card, I need another kind of screwdriver. Uh, these screws, oh, I hate them so much, you know. With all those compact machines. I don't know who invented these kinds of screws, but you cannot use a normal screwdriver on it. And if your flatbed, flatbed screwdriver is too long, it will not fit either. You see that because... It does not go out to the end. So this is going straight into the bin. Gone. Gone with it. Okay, let's take this out. And uh, I have zero clue what this cable is for. So what is this? Um, fast internet, yes, made in Ireland. So for a change, it's not made in Japan. <laughs> But where's this cable? I don't know. Okay, well anyway, I can always hook it later on again. Now, uh, let's see, you can see, yeah, you can see everything. Okay, so the rest I can leave where it is because it's, I, I just transplant the whole stuff into the other uh, case. Um, the only thing I want to do is make some room by detaching all this, this stuff. All the IE cables. So you can also see that this motherboard does not have a um, SATA connector. If it, if it had, I did not need to buy a PATA to SATA converter. And at this moment, I don't even know if it works. Yeah, okay, yeah. It sounds maybe stupid, but I have to check my camera, uh, my phone, because this is an S9 I'm recording on, oh, just on 1080p at 60fps, but it has, it has a time limit of 10 minutes. I never had that trouble with my S7. Samsung, what are you doing? Samsung, that's not nice of you. Okay, take out the ATX power supply. And okay, let let us get that puppy out too. So it says now seven minutes and twenty seven seconds. That will not be enough unless you encounter the same kind of crappy screws here also. Thank you. My own my own screws. See plenty of. Plenty of screws to screw around with. Like that. And gone with the wind. So if I'm right, I can take this puppy out now. If I'm right. Mostly I'm not. Oh, wait a second. I see. Oh, and there's the screw. Don't know if you guys can see this. This one. Let me check. 
Can you? No, you cannot see it. There is still a screw. Now you can still not see it. Oh man. Sorry. <laughs> My tripod broke. Give me a break, please. There. There it is. Oh no, you cannot see it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Oh. Let's get away the moles. Come on, detach you piece of. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, just my luck. Always the last crew is the difficult one. Why does it need to be attached here? That's utterly nonsense. I mean, the four screws there should be more than enough to hold it in place. I mean, where are these retaining, you know, um, slides for? Why to, why to put the screw here? It, you see? Why to put screw there? That's totally nonsense. It's rubbish. So this one goes to the dust bin as well because it's also a nasty one. So throw it away. So the hard. Let me check. Yeah, like that. So the hard drive. I will. Um, hmm. Well. Should the SSD not work for some reason, I can always keep using the hard drive, but I really don't want to. So the uh, let's check. So, so this is the nice front end of the cabinet um, from very close by, but it's held together by a piece of tape. Yeah. This end, and it's just this tape. This tape, and that will. You see? Crap. It's only crap. Alright then. So, the only, you know, nicest thing about this system is this system. Because you only have to. Push this button, and then everything keeps stuck. Okay. Jeez. Oh, oh, okay. This one should be able to come free as well, but why doesn't it do? Oh, like that. Ah, okay. So these two drives are scrap, <coughs> they can go to the litter. Uh, this is a Windows Millennium floppy disk, startup disk. Yeah. Well, that's mostly it. Uh, let's see, except for the drive itself, uh, which resides here. What kind of weird contraption is this? What is... What the... Who put this here? Screw is okay, but still... Is this a... What the freak is... Well, whatever. Okay, let's get the hard drive out. What kind of hard drive is it? Oh, it's a Magstore! Oh, Magstore. Oh, with dust. 30 gigabyte. Fireball 3. Oh my gosh, how old is this thing? Oh, date. It says 30, 30 January of 2004. Wow. It's like 15 years old. Oh, 15 years old. Oh my gosh. 
So let's see. The time is just five minutes. Okay, we can go further. Okay, um, now we are getting to one very important issue, and that's the placement of these headers. Um, all these headers here are connected in one, you know, one um, one connector. But in the other case, they are all separated. So what I need to do now is to get a piece of paper, a piece of paper, having it over here, like that. So and unearth myself a little bit and something you know for underneath so let's see so you can see it okay the point is i can directly see to what header each cable leads to so i know exactly where goes what so what i do is i find myself this nice spot now let's see uh, I take it off gently and I see that it was like this on it yes and those are only like oh only like five pins and then I think this is going to pose a problem I think this this one the blue and the and the, the blue and the green are uh, I mean the white and the green are going to do the uh, it's either the power led or the it's the um, where is that front cover Let's see. I think it's the uh, I think it's the hard drive LED. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, in any case, uh, I see here um, five pins. Yeah, five. So I draw these pins, uh, one, two, three, one, four, five. Can you even see that? Yeah, you can see that. And the separate one. So what I have seen is that the, the these two are the white one and the green one, and they lead to the, um, I think it was what was it, what was it again? It was the HDD LED. Okay. After that, we get a a red one and a black one. Red, black. Those two combined lead to the other light. That's this one, and that is probably the power power led and then the remaining uh, let's see what well, those two are blue blue and blue and well that it must be the power switch power switch power switch um, for the power switch, uh, it's not important how they are oriented, orientated because it's just a signal. Uh, you just tap a switch. For something like a light, it is important where the plus and minus are going. That's why these colors are probably equal because it doesn't really matter how they go. So um, yeah. Okay. Well, we have this stuff. Okay, put that away. Now let's see. Do we have everything aside? Yes, we have. Now let's unhook this uh, motherboard. 
with the, also with those crazy screws. <clears throat> I know I know already that the other side of this case, uh, yeah, it can come off. So let's see how it's attached. I immediately throw them away. I hate those screws. I don't care. I hate them. 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 Screw! Ah! Okay. Get over here, you. Ah, don't you worry you guys, I will uh, I will shorten this video to a more watchable, you know, maybe I even, you know, skip my own babbling and, you know, go just through it, because this is actually quite tedious. Some people do like watching this stuff, you know, just, un just installing uh, a computer. This is the last one I see, yes. Nice. Great. So that must be it, I suppose. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. <clears throat> let's see about the IO shield. And I see already a problem. This I.O. shield, I am not certain if I can put it in that case, because this I.O. shield is specifically made for this case. You can see these, these spares over here and over here to keep it in place. So, but you know, an I.O. shield is, it's, well, you know, not that important. Um, yeah, we take this stuff, this thing away for now, right? And are we still recording? Hey! <laughs> okay, now we take this thing. Oh my gosh, what a bunch of cables are there in this case. This is, this is what, this is ridiculous. What is this? Table fantasy? Gee. Oh, of course. I also have to unhook this. This possible. can turn this into a 20 part you know <laughs> part one <laughs> open the case part two unscrew the drive part three unscrew the optical drive part four lose the screw part five g you know freak completely out okay let's get rid of the let's get rid of well I want to get rid of this but it's still attached to the to this fan which I'm not the biggest fan of actually let's see with just a tire rip and it six, six and tie a tire rip um, how much time did it cost you Dech? Well, nothing. No, only 20 minutes. What? 20 minutes? What the? Is it, oh, this is a double tie rib. Oh, you can be kidding me. It's a double tie. Now I see it's a double one. I can I can cut this one. That, that's one. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Wait. And we still have oh, still one left.
Why? Why? Why can't you hear me? Why? Why can't you? Ha! That was my phone quitting. Yeah, I got you! Ha <laughs> ha! It's loose! Congratulations! Congratulations! Alright, now let's hope that the... Let's see... Do you know that sitting on the ground on your knees is not particularly pretty? It's a lot of dust on this thing. <coughs> okay, well, now the big. Uh, um, let's see if this. Uh, if it complies. Well, for some reason it does not want to go further, and don't ask me why, but I don't understand why. Why not? What has this power supply more or less than the other one? They are equal in, uh, in width. Ah, uh, I see no nothing holding it there, and nothing holding it there. So you know, this compact um, one should fit. Should fit, yeah, it should fit. So what? So what is, I don't know what it's, I have no idea why it's hold at bay, maybe, maybe I have to, well, we are getting closer, oh, Well, I see that the, oh my gosh, the screws are not even, they're not even matching. I'm toast. I'm so toast. The, this, this. Nope. The screw, the screw holes are totally not matching for this case. Oh my gosh. How I am going to fix this problem? Tell me guys. Help! 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 Minus, where are you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Drag out! <laughs> Do you have the answer for me, please? <laughs> Put an SD in it. Mm, no. uh. <sighs> okay, so the power supply unit will not fix, it will not fit. And, you know, by judging these, these weird looking pins, I even doubt the motherboard will fit. Well, if that's the case, then I'm in deep trouble. Really deep trouble. Let me just, you know, just quickly try that, try that out. <laughs> just quickly. Let's see if those, those holes align. Mm, that one align, that one aligns. Well, they seem to align. 
that's nice. So I get the old IO shield out of it. Uh, what to do about the power supply unit that is not fitting. Look at this, you guys. You see, <laughs> these holes are totally not matching. This is like totally incompatible with each other. <sighs> so what to do about it? Well, it's not like it's not like there's an elephant hanging on that thing, but if I can mount it somehow to the case, if it's just, if it if it just only stays put, you know, then if, I mean it's already it's just, yeah. If it, it's what is the camera saying? It's five minutes. Okay. Yeah, if it only stays put, then I'm fairly happy. But how to get it like that? Because there is no single screw hole. Not a single screw hole is matching this power supply unit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so how do I fix this? How to um how do I get this in such a way that it will not detach? Well there is this let's see there is this pin this pin with this hole into it and I also have no, this stuff it goes under it. So what if I put a tie rip between that? Do I still have tie rips? <laughs> I think these are too short. These are too short. And these are probably too fat. But let's see. If a real tweaker, you know, a real tweaker tweaks, uh, you know, a, a power supply unit with a tire dip. Uh, if I put it, if I put, can I put it? No, that will not fit. Uh, but if I put, it will not fit here. I, but I'm a, wait, 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 wait. I can push it a little bit forward. That's okay. So I can just put it through and then back again over here and then push it back. Oh, no, no way a second and it's stuck like that and then put it back in here again and ah, let's see here we go <laughs> oh my god hardcore modding and oh you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me <laughs> i can't cry myself to sleep ah, how to figure this out What kind of options do we have for such a situation? Let's see. I don't know, maybe an old fashioned, you know, ring. <sighs> oh man, that that hurts. <laughs> what has this to do with... I want to install Windows Millennium on a PC and what I'm doing, I'm mounting a PSU with a... With a Oh, and I don't even have nails for this kind of st oh, I'm so freaking... <laughs> I'm such a noob. Uh, okay. No, oh, come on. Okay, you stay put. No. Okay, let me go there. Yeah, come on, a bit further. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come Come to daddy. Come on. Come on. We're going to go in there whether you like it or not. Gotcha. Hey! <laughs> my power supply has an earring. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I doing here? Guys, tell me what I'm doing. I am like an, an idiot.
but don't tell me it still will won't fit. And let's see, that has to go the other way around. And then it goes through there. Yeah, come on, don't don't you get any? Oh no, those those ribs are all over there. Oh no, please don't tell me. <laughs> don't, don't tell me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm get I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting freaked out over here. I'm get ow, 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 ow. getting totally freaked out over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 I know. Yeah yeah I know I know you don't want to I know I I I neither I don't want this anymore I want to quit I want to quit I want to quit I want to go home <laughs> Since we are doing so good our best anyway, we are using a second set. Time for some unpacking to do. Yes, this is the uh, bi-directional EDA to SATA converter. The most effective way to upgrade your older device. Oh, that's nice. So, uh, let's see. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need a converter on my computer, not more than paper. Hey, a SATA cable. How nice. And this is a USB to I don't know. Cardboard. And I think a Y adapter, Molex. So oh. I put away the I put away the, the thing itself. Oh my gosh. Well, I wonder how long this has been lying there. It looks so, you know. Look at it, it looks so second-hand uh, for some reason, for something that is obviously supposed to be new, but... The question is, put I, do I put this straight into the... yeah, of course I do. So, let's see, uh, wait a second, let, let me see this first. There's a switch here, where is this for? Um, I have no idea. It does not even say. Now this SSD, it is a very cheap SSD, so I don't, yeah, well, it's only for Windows Millennium, you know, it's, it's not like, it's not like it has to do much because what kind of games are you running on Windows Millennium in the first place? Small little games. It's not like it's not like GTA 5, GTA 5, or Battlefield 5. You know that takes like hundreds of gigabytes of storage. No, no, no. It's just playing Doom 2.
Well, it, it, for 14 euro, it even comes into its package. It's not even loose here and here. Hmm. That means the SSD must be even more crappier because they spend more money on the plastic probably than on the SSD. Come on, how can this be a, you know? How can this be? It is Corsair. It, you know, Corsair is a brand, a well-known brand. So Corsair Force LS, never heard of it, but yeah, okay. You have to do what you have to do. So let's plug in this first because um, you don't want to see this when it's already free. Uh, now I need the. No, I can just use this cable. Okay, you guys, I have uh, connected the uh, Windows Millennium machine and. Um, I also made sure that. Uh, that the CD-ROM is also in the drive. I had uh, to troubleshoot some items, but I think I'm ready to go now. So wish me luck. Here we go. Windows Millennium on an SSD. Come on. Ah, okay. That I want to see. Yes, that I'd like to see. Now let's see if he recognizes the 60 gigabyte uh, SSD. So I'm loading DOS now from the CD-ROM drive, as you can see. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry my um, my my uh, um, my tripod is broken otherwise I just could put the camera you know just down okay yes uh, let, uh, okay display nothing to see here okay then create Create. Oh yeah, it sees a drive. That's good. But how big? Will it see 60 gig? Mm, no. Total disk space is yes, 57,239 megabytes. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Let's give it four gig. <laughs> Escape. Extended. Oh man. <laughs> I still have this thing, yes. It's for in the car, you see? I can use that. Ah, so okay, I will take the lid off the camera. I'll be right back. Now, that is what I call stabilization. Yes. Ah, okay. Hey, will I be the first to install Windows Millennium on an SSD? Okay, it is. I am using a PATA to um, uh, SATA, you know, converter. But still, uh, create logical. Oh, it's already okay. Set active partition. One, okay, escape, escape, escape.
Now I probably have to restart. Oh, I'm excited. After all that work, after all the troubles, after all the messing around, I have been busy for hours and hours and hours and hours. And now finally, Oh, it's even even formats it more quickly. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Oh my gosh! Yeah, then win Emmy. And okay, now D. How about D? That's the big one. <laughs> I had. <laughs> I just remember reminds me of the time when he had the Amiga 1200. I had Workbench 3.1.4, and I had this big 32 gigabyte CF card, and also a one gigabyte or 1.5 gigabyte uh, DHO drive. And then I wanted to format DH1, and it said, "Oh, too too less memory." I was like, "Oh no!" Okay, nearly done. Volume name. Well, just call it media stuff. Normally I can add this, then this skips normally the um, scan disk option, but I want to actually do that. I want to see it uh, scanning the, the drive. <laughs> Free space, yeah enough for Windows Millennium. I have been scouring to find a working IDE, DVD or CD-ROM drive. I, it, has been, it has been crazy. Oh, my mouse works too. Oh, what nice. This is so nice. Windows, yes. Just typical. Yeah, I do it. Computer name. Well, what should we name this thing? Uh, Freakosaurus. <laughs> uh, let's just uh, call him Old Games. You know, Old Games. It's what it will be. Uh, country, region. Where I? Where am I? I am in the Netherlands. Where? The Netherlands. I don't know where that is. It's between Germany and England, you dumbass. <laughs> now you know. Come on. Don't bother. Don't pester me so much. Here, Amsterdam. Here we go. No, we don't want a... We don't want a disc uh, uh, because I already have uh, such a disc. Windows just got better. 
Yeah, Windows helps you get the most out of your computer. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it gives dollar bills. That would be nice. Like, like, a, like an ATM machine. Oh, I did not check if the floppy drive actually works. I did not check it in the BIOS either. Huh. Estimated time remaining, 25 minutes. Actually, I'm wondering, normally, um, normally Windows Millennium is already f quite fast on this machine, because this machine, this is the compact machine, which comes from the uh, well, compact case. And it's a Pentium 2 at uh, 450 megahertz. It has, uh, I think, 192 megabytes of memory. Well, it took somewhat longer than um, expected uh, because the drive was very silent. Setup is now ready to start your computer. Remove all disks from floppy drive and click OK to restart. So I will remove now the CD ROM. Okay, and I will press on OK, and I say restart now. It starts, it starts from the SSD. It actually starts from the SSD. Windows Millennium from an SSD. <laughs> Windows Millennium from an SSD. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, not on a compact flash card or a, a um, you know, little, small, tiny... Uh, flash card or something like that or or a um ED, a real pata uh, ssd no this is just a genuine um a genuine sata ssd a modern one okay i'll buy the cheap one uh, i'll buy the very cheap one but still also in combination with a cheap converter with some twiggling around uh, i made it work Oh, there was a there was a moment like maybe an hour ago or something like that that I thought to myself, oh, this will never, this will never, this will I cannot even speak. Wait a second, rewind. <laughs> there was a moment I could not even, you know, think that this would even work, let alone that the computer would start, because there were a few factors uh, that played in my mind, like, okay, are the connectors on the system panel header? Uh, corrected, orientated, uh, is the power supply unit okay, is the SSD okay, is the uh, EDA to SATA converter okay, uh, you know, all those little things that can have any influence on, on it. Name. Well, we call this PC just old games. I like that. I agree. Finish. Oh, I want to see the desk screen. I already like the colors. This is more than four colors. Yeah, restart now. <laughs> in more than four colors. I feel like I'm repeating uh, Draga when he installed uh, his Windows Millennium on his Quantum Bigfoot. Gradient! Gradient! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a clown. <laughs> I 
really like that video, you know, uh, about the quantum Bigfoot. <laughs> This is a quantum Bigfoot drive. It has Molex connector. It even make your optical drive nervous. It will even not fit into the bay. <laughs> Hell, Bigfoot ain't no slave. Give me that power, bitch. Click. <laughs> oh man, what a goofball. Really, really, guys. Uh, if, if you want, you know, some real, you know, stupidity and nonsense, uh, I can advise you. Uh, yeah, go to go to Druaga One uh, channel. You can laugh uh, a bit, you know. The guy is a little bit, you know. He has the same kind sort of attitude like I have, you know, just you know, goofing around and and trying and. Okay, he goes a little bit deeper into the uh, the material than I am. Um, I am, um, but for him it's easy because English is his native language. For me, it's not. So it's for him easier to tell a story or find the right words. While I'm constantly thinking, like, okay, what do I have to say now? What do I have to say now? Well, I could say. Component progress, overall progress. Yes, it's going, it's going, it's going. Gradient. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I wonder. Uh, I even wonder if um, if Draga One would ever watch this video. Actually, in the first place, if he even watches videos uh, of Windows Millennium installations uh, on older DOS systems. All the computers in general, and even if if possible on SATA devices. Uh, uh. Why does it need to take seven minutes? I don't want to wait seven minutes. Are you, do you want to wait seven minutes? Nah, let's just skip that. Okay, be right back. Oh yeah, less than one minute. I like that better than seven minutes. How about you guys? Okay, less than one minute. So I say 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. Not done? Ah, come on. So if you hear a, you know, a noise in the background, it's my own computer because, you know, I needed some files. I needed my serial key and I was too lazy to open up the tray to to uh, see it on the CD-ROM itself. Yeah, restart. No. Okay. If this if this thing just uh, uh, last time it uh, automatically. Yes, automatically it uh, found uh, the AWE or AWE 64 um, sound blaster. <coughs> Updating system system. Your system is now updated to Windows 10. What? No! Give me, give me desktop. Give me a desktop. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> oh yeah. It says sound. Volume. Normally I hear click sound, but I'm not sure if I connected on the on the right uh, right one. But that's for later concern. Oh, I hear it. Click. Yes. Yes. Nice. 
Okay, now what we are going to do is, I have here, well, you can barely see it, but the stick with the drivers for this uh, video card. So let's put this in here, uh, like this. Here it comes. I found it already impressive that Windows Millennium finds the USB storage device. Mm, let's make a new folder. Install. New folder. Video. My computer. And yeah, removable disk. Oh, yes. Open. Browse. They install. Video. Okay. Unzip. The only thing I, the only thing I did not succeed that uh, in the last time I had um, uh, Windows Millennium um, on the other hard drive was going on to the internet with it. Video setup English. Okay, Matrix Millennium G200 AGP. Next. Uh, nostalgia. Well, that's quick. Restart my computer. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Let's take out the USB key. <laughs> Last time I left the USB key into that uh, cable and <laughs> it got stuck on startup. Oh my gosh, it's working, it's working. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. It's pity I don't have my games uh, uh, over here, so I cannot play any games. So, yeah, what, what, yeah, what to do um, now, now, now? Oh, there's no. I have nothing um, at the moment available um, to do. Actually, let's see how it shows as a disk drive. Disk drive, <laughs> generic IDE, disk type 01, generic old floppy, yes, I was interested if the floppy drive would work. It shows, so let's put it, put it in. <laughs> I'm so happy, I fixed it, I fixed the pins, oh my gosh, I thought that, that thing was dead. I thought it was dead. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, I love it. Ah, great. Now, the only thing I have to figure out is how to connect to the internet. Because it shows the network adapter, like the 3 com Ethernet, but it does not work like on Windows XP or, or above. It's like, okay, and... Um, how to get on internet, you know, that's like, um, I, I, I don't know, no, I am like, um, this is something I have to figure out, uh, yeah, connect to the internet, so, but then it suggests like, I, um, you know, about a modem, don't detect a modem, let's see, I want just, I want just, I want just use a LAN. Can't I? Can't I? Back. Next. Nah. So I still have to figure that out, how that works, uh, getting Windows Millennium online. Not that it's really necessary, but 
it can be uh, to set up Amazon using your local area do you touch down hmm. LAN connecting an error occurred while trying to connect to MS MSN is old of course to access a modified equipment start uh, next uh, cancel so that's no option yet this is also not what happens if I double click this oh it goes to the same page aha mm -hmm. control panel aha uh -huh. so um yeah um display the time dial uh, internet options well i certainly don't want to go to that page just you know just plain old google.com suffices there went the 10 minute mark again um yeah, what remains? Um, what can I do? Um, let's see, this thing has a media player, right? Yes. Okay, not that's obvious. It can play music, but you have to watch out with that, with because you don't want any, you know, issues on YouTube with that we are you know playing it all nice and well okay that works um yeah i have to figure this out uh, my network places add network places uh, entire network place <coughs> home networking welcome to the home the wizards guide you through setup home networking which you can ship okay let's try it uh yes you get a computer uh, um, do you, do you does not use the internet a direct using a connection to another uh, provider from the yes next put the name okay uh, use the default work group name Amazon recommended no I choose work group that is usually well what most computers use next. Select the box below for files you want to share, but no, I don't want to share anything. Go away. Yes, create a home networking. No, do not. Finish. Could it be so easy or, uh, you know? It has been like ages since I worked with this, this Windows version. But I have to say that the destination of this uh, system also is not to, to, to go to internet. The idea is more to play like uh, all, all the games. Uh, okay. Well, I have to figure that out. Uh, anyway, I am uh, I'm excited because uh, it runs on uh, an uh, it runs on an uh, SSD. Yeah, it runs on an SSD. Do we have also pictures? Windows Millennium Okay uh, Nice That's nice What do we have more? Accessoires Accessoires mm, Paint Paint Text Make it big Windows ME is working on on an SSD. Wow! 
Hey. Let's make a melody. Oh, it does not go that fast. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Something else? Games? Uh, I'm not so much in these games. Online services. Start up. Internet Explorer. Outlook. Windows Media Player. I know enough. It uh, has been a has been a success and um, I think I go video edit now so guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this uh, my uh, everlasting tormenting I, I have been tormented to the to the brink and uh, the video editing will be even more nastier and um, yeah to conclude this whole system I will you know take the uh, Oh, the camera. Come on. Okay. I show you in full format how it's standing here. Just like that. Well, isn't that a pretty view? Contacted with the speakers, of course. And, um, yeah, we'll be installing some dust games on it and then, um, when that is done, then when I have some dust games on it, then I will show you how it runs. And uh, well, until then, I will see you next time. And if you have any suggestions about uh, making a video about uh, any installation or you have any questions also about Windows Millennium, feel free to ask. And uh, I'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye.